Here is Top Accolade African News. I am Adiodu Mohamed. Millionaire businessman Sam Matekani has been sworn in as Lesotho's Prime Minister. He took the oath of office in front of thousands of Basufu and presidents from Southern Africa in the capital Maseru. The events, including an air show, are being live streamed by the state broadcaster in neighboring South Africa. The 64 year old is a well regarded businessman in Lesotho, but novice to politics. The government in Togo says more than 4,000 people have been forced to flee their homes this year following jihadist attacks in the north of the country. Among the displaced are Togolese who had to leave their villages and Burkina Faso nationals who had crossed the border to escape attacks by Islamist militants. Newsmen gathered that Togo, Benin Republic, Ghana and Ivory Coast are increasingly concerned that the jihadist threat is spreading further south from countries in the Sahel region. There have been at least five attacks in northern Togo over the last year. The communications minister said victims of the violence were being helped with psychological support and displaced students would be offered education in schools within host communities. Officials from the World Health Organization WHO says access to northern Ethiopia is urgent to save the lives of millions of people facing a perfect storm of deprivation. Cholera and measles outbreaks have been recorded in Amahara and Afar, where aid agencies have limited access. In Tigray, where there has been no air or road access for eight weeks, the WHO is unable to get a clear picture of disease outbreaks. However, officials say childhood vaccinations have stopped and that supplies of IV fluids, insulin and antibiotics have run out. Fewer than 1 in 10 health centers are functioning. There are acute shortages of food and fuel, with an estimated 89% of the population in Tigray now food insecure and 29% of children suffering from malnutrition. The International Monetary Fund said on Thursday it had agreed a $3 billion extended fund facility EFF over 46 months with Egypt, welcoming a move to durable exchange rate flexibility regime and commitment to boosting social protections. Egypt's currency fell by about 13.5% to a record low against the dollar on Thursday, Refinitiv data showed, after the central bank said it had moved to the new regime in advance of the deal's announcement and raised interest rates by 200 basis points. The arrangement is expected to catalyze a large multi-year financing package, including about $5 billion in the financial year ending in June 2023, reflecting broad international and regional support for Egypt. The IMF said in a statement, it also said there were discussions for an additional $1 billion from the fund's resilience and sustainability facility. The Egyptian government's fiscal policy under the EFF would be anchored to the reduction of general government debt and gross financing needs, the statement said. That is the size of top accolade African news. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Friday!